fresh packet of Sugru. Now I got the one that has three single use packs. That's pretty cool. Gives you a bunch of ways you can use it on the inside if you haven't already decided. And then you can open it up. And what you will see, I'm gonna open it in a bit, is I've got three different colors. White, black, and red. Which, the white one is what I'm gonna use on this. Which yes, in the previous video I attempted, but I decided to not bother. This is actually what I ended up using the expired uh, cured badly piece for. Evidently not ideal. So let's see how we get on with this. First step, clean your hands. After that, cut open the foil pack. I'm gonna use the white one, and then roll the Sugru in your hands. So let's do that. It does say to do this, to knead it for about 30 seconds. Now notice it does tend to get everywhere. So I've used some tissue paper this time. One to keep it clean, two to stop it from going on the table below. In fact, it says use toilet roll to clean your hands, so we're doing that already. Squidge it onto something, mold and shape for up to half an hour. You just roll it out a bit. Because I want to use this on the cable. I'm going to roll it to get it nice and long. And then with my thumb, hopefully this is a good idea. Nope, it's starting to stick a bit on me. Let's see now. Roll it a bit. And then flatten that down there. So that's the beginnings of what I want to use. So as you can see, that's the bit that I'm hoping to shore up. And if I've done this close to correctly, I can mold it around. Maybe I should mold it closer and then just pat the ends in. And I'm going to go around to try and smooth in the off. It says you have 30 minutes to mould it into the shape you want. There's the chances are that you'll uh, be able to do this a bit neater. But this is a bit of an idiot's guide, so you can see the possibilities. To all intents and purposes, I just want this bit to last longer. I have noticed a negative from doing this. Although this end will now be more flexible, evidently it's not gonna be as small and compact because this bit won't bend quite as close as it did there, even though I used to leave some space to not put stress on, the, on it. Now it says you can use soapy water to smoothen the edges off. Not too worried about that and for fear of messing it up I think I might just leave it almost like this just trying to even it out a little bit more. Not sure if I needed it a bit fatter down this end but because it does seem a little bit uneven so I'm just going to try and work a bit down to this end. From the if you top. give it a rub it will actually smoothen out the edges. And this was just with a clean hand with no, I seem to have got some bits in there, but that's a minor. We're gonna hang it off here as per the instructions. It recommends taping that down 
So I'm just going to put some tape down because obviously it's quite heavy. I'll leave it there hanging, secure, in order for this bit to mould, to cure, to set better. We're going to leave that and come back and see how it looks, or more importantly how it feels. 24 hours are up, let's see how it looks. What you probably can't see is how that's now formed as rubber. As you can see as I bend it, it's not cracking. See, nice and smooth. So this is where I really wanted the most protection. It'll force me to do a bigger loop when I want to wrap it up. Of course, we flick these up and use that too. I could do it tidier. But for now, that'll do the job. If I really wanted to, I could add a bit more there. Smooth it out there with the additional Subaru.